Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Before we start talking about the set, just wanted to say thank you to all the people who subscribed to me so far. Um, thanks for helping the channel kind of grow a bit. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, why don't you uh, go tickle that little subscribe button over there. It doesn't hurt anything. And it helps me grow my channel. Um, the likes are great. Um, the comments have been fantastic. I, I've been really enjoying, you know, picking your guys' brains on some of these sets and hearing uh, your experiences with them. So keep that up. Um, now with that out of the way, we're going to be looking at number 40686. This is the brand new Trade Federation Troop Carrier. Uh, I'm sure many of you know that it's the gift of purchase from this past uh, weekend for the, uh, the Star Wars Day celebration for the 25th anniversary of Episode 1 and the 25th anniversary of the Star Wars Lego theme. This is a sort of a modern rebuild of an old set from 2001, the Battle Droid Carrier, set number 7126. And I don't have one of those. Uh, I might look into picking one up. I don't know how much they're going for these days. Um, but I saw this and I had to have it. I really love these old battle droids. My wife calls them Roger Rogers. And uh, I think they're kind of the best thing from the Clone, Clone Wars series. There's always seen uh, episodes that had these guys in them. They're great. Um, so the overall design of this, the whoever designed this understood the assignment and they freaking delivered. It's fantastic. Um, I'm going to show you this little printed block we got here. 25 years. Lego Star Wars. It's a cute little sign thing they give you. I mean, I don't have really any idea where I'm supposed to put that, but it's cool to have. So... It's got a really nice, sleek form to it. Comes with a lot of droids. Comes with eight of them. You get six of these uh, regular battle droids and two of these pilots. So these pilots are both new and old. Um, to explain that better, the original one came with just regular... Uh, it came seven battle droids, six of which were these regular just tan ones, one of which was basically the same but it had a little bit of blue uh printing on its torso and then you've got various other pilot droids with blue torsos and some with blue with the tan printing but these ones are the first ones to have that insignia oh see that there they have the separatist insignia sort of i think that's what they're trying to call it it's just a circle uh <laughs> They have that insignia printed into their torso. Tiny detail, but it technically separates them from all the other ones. Um, you come with uh, only six blasters. Because apparently the pilots don't need to have the blasters. I'm not really sure why it came with two, but two's better than one. So I'll take it gladly. Um, the bottom has all of these clear um, boat parts. I, I don't know what they're called, but I do know they have boat in their name, or at least they used to. Really nice. And then you've got your little troop carrier that slides out. It looks like a, a tuning fork or like um, the, uh, <laughs> the Halo dropships for the Covenant. No, but you got these guys over here on this droid rack. And now something that I didn't notice until I was actually building it is that <laughs> the way they have you put these guys on this rack, look at that, like full ostrich mode. It, it's like, it looks like the SpongeBob meme. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. And then, like, I saw that and I was like, wait, what? And then I glanced over at the packaging and they have it in the artwork. I hadn't even realized that at all until I got to the point in the build, which is, it's basically, I don't know, second to last step. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's second or third last step. And they just have you full ostrich mode. 
which is not necessary. I will show you what I mean. So as you can see here, I have their heads tucked, which is how they normally are. And yes, I do have these arms up. Uh, that's because if you can see here, this bent arm fits in there just fine. But this one, where it has the uh, perpendicular hand, that one touches the side here. And I have had too many of these arms crack that, that I don't want to risk that tiny amount of stress messing with that. Uh, you can technically get those arms down and get them in there. But like I said, you are pressing the hand. I don't know if you can see there's a little bit of gap right here where that hand's being pressed and it's pushing this out a little. I don't want to risk cracking that. So I kind of compromised and had the arms up. But there's literally no reason to have the head up like that. It looks awful. I do not understand why they have that there. It's like they didn't even watch the movie. Um, but like, it looks weird. Look at that. It looks so weird. It's like a rack of ostriches. You literally just tuck the head down and it looks normal. Um, these are kind of a pearl, a dark pearl gray, which is nice. They're not the full black. And then this is the rounded hollow stud one by three, which I, I hadn't seen before. And you got two of them here. I was like, that's pretty neat. Uh, they use the two, the one by two rounded corner with the hollow studs pretty often, but never seen them in three. I'm pretty sure that's a new piece. Um, but the rest of this, it's pretty simple, you know. It's just a rack. And then um, putting this back in is a little... Well, that went in <laughs> really easy. I was about to say it's a little difficult because you got to line that up there, but hey, do that. Just be careful you don't you don't tip it. It does not lock into place. I don't really think there's a way for them to have accomplished that. But the form factor is fantastic. The building experience is really nice. It's smooth. It's it's so good. It is so good. I have basically nothing bad to say about this set. Um, except you had to spend $160 to get it. And I'm not certain if you can actually get this after the fact. Um, I do know that some gift with purchases, you're able to purchase them individually after their like original, not original, their initial release. Um, and then I went onto the Lego website the other day and it had this listed for $45.40, but it wasn't available. So I don't know if that's a thing. It also had my location set to Singapore for some reason. It's because I wasn't logged in. Um, I have no idea if that's going to be the price, but $45 for this would be amazing. They would easily charge $60 for something like this. I mean, it comes with eight figures. That right there is usually the big money sink into these sets. Um, I mean, the UCS sets only give you like two, except for the, the Cantina. There's what, like 15 of them or something? I don't know. I haven't gotten the Cantina, but generally you only get one or two for the UCS sets. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I have anything else to say about this. It's fantastic. I'm so glad I have this. It's the entire reason why I bought the Interceptor, it's just to get this. Um, man, it's great. Alright, I'll see you guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.